Hello and welcome back to the Altrix Weekly Challenge. We're now on challenge number 72 and we're now comparing two data sets. Uh, as you can see here, we've got a data set at the top here and one at the bottom and we've got to compare the fields of either, either side. The symbol here, I think, is given as a big clue because this you know, it gives us the breakdown or the information on a particular field. So if we go into Alteryx and we go to the Developer tab, we can see that there's all these different types of tools. And then this one here, this field info, is the same picture. So I'm going to use this as a starting point. Uh, so anyway, let's have a look at the endpoint. So we've got this record of the records here with various fields and then this one as well. But the you can see it's slightly different so let's uh, let's bring in one of these for each of the each of the each of the inputs okay and what we want to get is we want to compare the two so some data set one name and data set two name now if we look here we've got name type size so this is some data set one and this is data set two so I think what I want to do is rename, we can use a select and we can get rid of anything, all the other information I don't think we need. This is data set one name. Copy that so we can use it again and then we'll just get rid of the rest. Okay, and then bring in another select for down here for the second one and we'll paste that in but we'll change the one to a two and get rid of the rest. Okay, so that should give us just the, the name field which is what we're working to solve here where we bring these data set one name and data set two name into it but they are in different formats so how do we how do we join them together if they're in different different formats so the biggest difference I there's two so two differences I can see one is that there's some upper uppercase things in there and two is that there's some underscores so let's let's deal with those so what we can do is bring in a formula tool and all we do there is let's create a new one so uh, we'll call it a, a data set one no, data set one yeah and then what we're going to put in here is upper case string and then well, that will just convert everything to uppercase with this ds1 and let's copy that paste it down here now what we'll do is we'll change this to be ds2 we'll call that ds2 so that'll do exactly the same thing on the other side and the reason we i'm going to use a different a different field than the actual one is because in here we want to keep the formatting uh, so we can use the, the new one this DS field to do the join and then lose it afterwards but uh, keep the formatting now the other thing we want to do is get rid of any um, underscore so we'll keep the DS2 and we want to do a replace so we'll replace string and we'll replace DS2 and the target that we're looking for is underscore and the replacement is just simply a space okay now that should give us similar format on both sides that we can we can work to okay now there are some fields different you can see there's a source at the bottom one and is deleted at the bottom of the other that's i think it's fine because we know that's going to be the case so let's join them um, and then we'll union all of them back together because we want we do want those null the ones that don't join so if we join them on ds1 and ds2 let's run that okay what we get out of the back of it is data set one with this setup and data set two with this setup and if we look here it's pretty similar so i think we can just let's have a look if we can get rid of the just bring in a select and we'll just get rid of the DS ones and a browse. How close are we? 
they're spot on. There you go. Complete match from the output to what we've produced. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.